Welcome back today. Today we'll be talking about the island in the Caribbean called Guadalupe. Um, quick history on Guadalupe. Guadalupe was an island that was uh, basically inhabited uh, 300 years before Christ, um, if you believe in the Christian religion. I'm just uh, going by that because, you know, uh, that's a time period, I guess, or that's a term that everybody can uh, relate to or understands for the most part. Um, so the first inhabitants were in Guadalupe uh, 300 to 400 years before Christ was born. Um, and they were there they were uh, cultivating um, people and then uh, uh, warlike people came along called the Caribs and the Caribs came and they basically um, they didn't annihilate all of them but they uh, sort of uh, warred with them a lot and, and got rid of the uh, people that actually you know if you want to call them indigenous people but the first people that were known to be on uh, Guadalupe um, I'm sorry Guadalupe the island um, so the Caribs were there and the Caribs uh, named the island Karukura and uh, which roughly translates into um, like the island with beauty um, or the island with beauty around the waters and uh, Columbus uh, came back and forth around two times he came one time and uh, he uh, saw sand dunes and really didn't see any value in the island so he left and then he came back a second time in uh, 1493 and uh, he actually named the island after the Spanish uh, monastery which is Guadalupe um, a monastery that he had visited when he was in Spain and um, once he was there uh he you know basically named the island and then the french empire uh came along and with the french empire arriving uh at the island um after he founded the french empire uh basically uh went in there and they went on the island they found the inhabitants which was the Carib or caribs if i'm saying it right caribs and um they basically warred with them and the french basically annihilated almost 90 percent of them uh the only ones that survived were the ones that uh, signed a treaty and was actually deep, deep in the islands and signed a treaty with the French uh, Empire or French army. And uh, they were the only ones that survived, but a lot of them were actually intermixed between the African slaves and um, and the uh, French, you know, the, the French salesmen and the French army, you know, French people in the French Navy and things like that. Um, but th there are still some left that are uh, pure-blooded. Um, so... After that, uh, basically, the the rough history on uh, Guadalupe is that uh, France, you know, they had a big empire. You know, fr uh, f the French Empire owned uh, many islands in the Caribbean. Obviously, they owned certain uh, uh, um, states in the United States, like Louisiana, once they sold it to America and things like that sort. But uh, the French Caribbeans, uh, France was uh, had a very, very big hold on the Caribbeans. Uh, they basically got a hold of uh, the tobacco industry down there. Um, in Guadalupe, there's a big uh, tobacco industry and was a big tobacco industry uh, and as well as the sugar and the tobacco um, and the first was that was uh, cultivated was the um uh, the tobacco um, and after the tobacco you know then came along uh, the uh, the cultivation of uh, bananas and sugar and uh, you know exporting it throughout the whole world um, now the French uh, were always going back and forth uh, with the, the Dutch and actually the British uh, you know between the, the 1400s to the, the 1600s late 1600s before Napoleon um, uh, you know a little bit before Napoleon uh, they were basically teaming up because uh, you know Dutch was uh, uh, or the Dutch, the country Dutch, you know, they were basically, you know, after territory that France had. So uh, France, uh, you know, basically um, teamed up with Great Britain and uh, they sort of kept uh, the Dutch from, uh, you know, taking over the island. But um, after a while, you know, the, there was uh, basically a French Revolution and uh, in France in the 1700s, the, the mid to late 1700s, and uh, the, the, the unstable empire in France uh, led to, you know, uh, the French having to, uh, you know, sort of get rid of some of the islands, the Caribbean islands that they owned and some other territories that they owned. Um, and also some that were just taken away uh, from other countries because they just didn't have the the state, you know, they weren't stable enough uh, in their own country and things were starting to fall apart throughout the world and their colonies, you know, throughout uh, West Africa, East Africa, um, the Caribbeans and the Americas. Um, so at that time, uh, Great Britain actually t uh, took over uh, Guadalupe for uh, not too long. Uh, maybe I would say, at the, I would like to say like five to ten years, somewhere around there. Um, and they took over the island and the reason that is being is because France basically had to um, pick between Canada and and um, 
Canada and, and Guadalupe. And at first they picked Canada because they thought it was more of a strategic uh, country, you know, um, as far as, um, you know, the st strategic point of where the country is located for war and things like that. Um, but then eventually Great Britain actually acquired, um, you know, parts of Canada back and France actually uh, acquired Guadalupe, Guadalupe back. And actually that went back and forth for you know, a couple a hundred years as far as like, the, you know, France having Guadalupe, then Great Britain, then France again, then Great Britain, then France again, then Great Britain, then France again, then Great Britain. Uh, and I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it was maybe almost the amount of times I said, if not a little bit less. Um, so basically, you know, after that, you know, obviously in the 17 and 1800s, uh, or, you know, the 1700s, um, you know, Napoleon, um, Excuse me, Napoleon and, uh, you know, his reign and his uh, administering of uh, slavery back into Guadalupe because it was uh, actually ousted um, in the late 1800s, which was in 1848, I would like to say, um, which was very, very late. Um, and so, you know, that is a little bit of history of, of, of Guadalupe. Um, as far as the African, uh, the people of African descent that were there, the slaves that were there, um, there was one important um uh, man called Louis uh, Delegres, and Louis Delegres was a officer, and he led uh, wars against, uh, um, you know, the the French Empire, and you know he just didn't agree with what Napoleon was doing to to black people in France, and uh, to what Napoleon was doing to you know the African people in uh, Guadalupe and how they were treated. So uh, he was a very important figure for um, uh, Afro uh, Guadalupians. You know, it was a made-up thing, I guess I could say, but yeah, Afro-Caribbeans um, on the Guadalupe Island. Um, he led a revolution of uh, eight—I want to say 800 people. Uh, some women and children too took he took with him, but uh, more so it was men soldiers. And even though he knew he couldn't win against the French army, uh, he still, uh, you know, basically did a suicide mission with 800 men uh, soldiers, and um, he led them. And he basically was on a mission to try to kill as many. Uh, French soldiers, you know, as possible to like dent the French army and to just let them know the presence of, uh, you know, African uh, people of African descent was, you know, basically we're not going to be in slavery no more. Didn't want to be in slavery no more. Um, so, excuse me. Uh, so in Guadalupe, uh, after his important uh, battle, um, which once again his name was Louis de Legris, and um, after his important battle. Um, Supposedly, you know, slavery was abolished in 1848, but actually slavery went on um, until the early 1900s uh, through illegal um, slave trade, which was basically, you know, uh, the French had a, a post in West Africa. They had uh, stations in West Africa and East Africa, and they would still send, send slaves over, even though uh, it was supposed to be outlawed and the law had passed in 1848 that slavery was over. So... Um, the French Empire was very, very brutal. The French Empire had uh, three to four times more slaves uh, in the Caribbeans and, um, you know, and just throughout their whole empire than a lot of uh, Great Britain did. Um, and as far as in the Americas and uh, the French were very, very like advocate on slavery because that was their bread and butter. Uh, France was the main one of the main countries, if not the the uh, the main country that uh, basically profited off of the lucrative um, um, venture of man men slaves or African slaves. Um, and 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 obviously there was some uh, European. Um, um, other European countries that, you know, were uh, obviously involved in the slave trade, but France was one of the biggest countries that uh, grew an empire off of the slave trade and the uh, tobacco, the sugar, um, and the, um, you know, banana industry. Um, so the French uh, slave trade in Guadalupe was very brutal. Uh, a lot of uh, the, the French um, slave owners would basically, um, I guess I would like to say the only difference was in America, even though that in America, uh, slavery was very, very very bad in America. Um, families were still, uh, they could still stick together as long as they didn't do anything bad. As long as they did everything that uh, the owner said, they could stick together. But in, um, you know, and they were still sent away from time to time, uh, you know, just if they weren't doing something right or just out of spite of the owner or maybe the owner's kids or one of his friends that, you know, they were basically saying, you know, going to say like, hey, you know, we don't like the way that this, you know, 
blase blah is looking at me so send him to another plantation or hang him or whatever so that all still happened but in the caribbeans the french made it a point to break up families as soon as the families uh arrived on the island and once they arrived on the island uh they would break up families and and even if they didn't break up the families they kept them together they made it a point to let them know that they were going to work them to death and i mean literally to death like the lifespan of, of slaves in the caribbean were at the, at one point especially with the french empire and when it was very lucrative um and it's for uh, 1500 1600 1700s was only till you know 30 years old some less than that some 20 um i mean these these people were beginning worked extremely hard in the hottest conditions um and not being fed much um getting whipped all the time um you know just all kind of violent things you could think of getting their head cut off getting their toes cut off um you know uh dragging them uh through the ocean um you know on boats and you know, once their skin's torn off and their skin's wrinkled and, you know, from the salt and, and things of that nature, you know, they would still make them work. And just all kind of crazy, um, crazy, just devilish stuff, you know. Um, so the French Empire was was very, very advocate and, and was very lucrative um, and, you know, off of the slave trade, um, if not you know basically the the new france that we know um as of right now was not basically funded um you know from the slave trade um it, you know it basically was funded from the slave trade the france that we know now uh was basically funded from the slave trade because it was looked at as business so these human beings were looked at as um uh, machines you know uh the the best machines you know um they never broke you know and if they would break they would either get killed or they would get whipped or you know whatever the millions of ways that um the owners would handle them so um yes the, the french empire actually uh set up posts too in west africa and east africa um very interesting a lot of people think that all um, african americans or uh, uh afro-caribbeans or afro-latinos are from west africa and central africa and that is the case i would say a lot of them are from north Af northwest africa uh, West Africa and Central Africa, all the way from North West Africa, all the way down through the Sahara Desert, all the way down, you know, through Ghana, um, Nigeria, to the Congo and Central and Angola and Central Africa. But um, we have to understand that uh, a lot of these countries were, you know, if you don't know the history of every African country, excluding Ethiopia, because Ethiopia was never colonized, but every other African country, if you don't know uh, who colonized them and who put them in slavery, whether it be France, Great Britain, Dutch, whatever, then you don't understand uh, the history of the slavery slave trade fully i would say because um france was in west africa but france was in east africa too so um for instance like Mo mozambique um and different other places in east africa so um a lot of the people in guadalupe can trace their history back to west africa central africa and east africa um and actually they got they've got a lot of slaves from east africa more than what people would believe um so when you when you look into your dna and people in Guadal guadalupe especially um you could have different ethnic groups from africa that you're mixed with you could be from some ethnic groups or tribes if you would like to call them that um in west in east africa in west africa in central africa and all over so um you know that is the history of guadalupe um i hope you learned a lot um about the um the african descent people in guadalupe um and if you would like to know anything else um about uh guadalupe and the african descent uh or the people of african descent in guadalupe and what they had to go through and um all the accomplishments uh you can definitely uh message me uh subscribe obviously uh for more videos and you can leave a comment and until next time, peace and blessings.